Wow. So don't be so mad. I know that it's easier said than done. But it feels like it's hopeless. I'm begging you, please hold on. Welcome to my week. So these meals, first of all, I'll just say this before we get in, into everything. And obviously this is my celery juice. I started the day with that because it's so high in potassium and a lot of morning sunshine as well. And, but I just wanted to say that this kind of routine or just way of eating has really changed the way that my hormones are showing up in my blood and just in everything like this has just really changed and i can tell even in my body so this is just really working for me and it's making me feel so good so yeah just making sure that i'm hitting enough protein and fiber and just all of the major macronutrients and even micronutrients throughout the day so I started off again with the celery juice because that's so full of potassium and sodium. And then I started off by having a protein shake, which Equip is my favorite protein of all time at the salted caramel with my Armour Colostrum, which is absolutely incredible for immunity and gut health. So I kind of start that off to front load my day with 20 grams of protein. And then I'm doing some Greek yogurt with berries and bee pollen, my favorite of all time for B vitamins. Also, I add my collagen to whatever drink I'm having. This day I felt like having a matcha, so I really have not had a matcha in so long, but it was so refreshing and delicious and really nice. And I just will say like adding a little bit more berries than I used to has really helped me to make sure that I'm hitting enough fiber. Like I kind of used to just sprinkle it on there, but now I really make sure I get enough because you can easily get 10 grams of fiber, nine to 10 grams of fiber, which is huge huge. I aim for about 30 grams a day. So getting 10 at the beginning of the day is amazing. And then for lunch, I made this delicious tuna salad. I love the chosen foods mayo. It's so good. And one of you told me to put cranberries in my tuna and it was actually so good. So I added that in with some celery and then wrapped it up. These are the best Siete wraps. I love them so much. They're so great for making a quick lunch and I just always love having them on hand. And so I had that for lunch with a side of some fruit. I've been really into grapefruit lately ever since I discovered the mellow gold grapefruit and I love the name of that it is my favorite I feel like I can't go a day without it it's just so good and then when I run out I get sad but anyway next up we're gonna make one of my favorite soups of all time you can take a picture of this screenshot it I love this I've made this a million times I feel like at this point but this is the easiest way to get in protein I start out with my bone broth about 10 cups of bone broth I throw in some carrots celery onion about a tablespoon of salt and along with some garlic and you just bring that to a boil and once it's boiling you add your chicken directly into the broth and then lower the heat on low cover it and let it just simmer cook for about 40 minutes and then you take out the veggies and I like to put them in my stainless steel blender and then add that hot broth maybe like four cups blend it up I take out the chicken separately obviously and then shred that add in that blended veggie mixture back into the soup and then on the side i add in my two lemons a whole zest of a lemon and then two egg yolks and you want to temper this so you want to make sure that the eggs don't break and you want to whisk really really fast um, add in that hot broth to that yolk mixture so that way it brings it up really slowly to temperature and your eggs don't break and you don't end up with scrambled eggs and then add everything back in and this is the best soup ever is so good it is so flavorful it's perfect for spring and i could eat it every single day of my life honestly it's so good so I'm adding my salted caramel protein, so good, with my colostrum. And then I added inositol today, which is really great for liver. It's an indirect source of glucuronic acid, so it's actually really helpful for detoxification. So I had a couple eggs on my gluten-free toast with half a grapefruit, and I went and weight trained for an hour. And then I came back and wanted some more food. And so then I came back and I made my favorite. I just, I love having this every single day. My little Greek yogurt bowl with the berries 
berries. It really helps me to get in my fiber. I feel like berries are the ultimate fiber hack. I've been getting questions about how do I get enough fiber? What's the easiest way? And berries, and you can do them obviously like in a smoothie, whatever way is the easiest. And then always, always, always with my bee pollen, it is absolutely amazing for B vitamins, which is also essential for liver health and really just hormonal health. Because when you support your liver and ultimately when you support your cells and giving them the B vitamins that they need, then that supports your liver, which supports your hormones, helps to detox excess estrogen, and just gives you happier periods and just a happier hormonal health in general. And then I made my London fog. I was back to my London fog. I only lasted on the matcha for a day, <laughs> even though it was really good. I always add in two scoops of collagen with my delicious two teaspoons of maple syrup, and then probably like half a teaspoon of the vanilla bean paste. And I was out in the garden doing a little bit of gardening this day. So I loved getting in my walk and then just being out in the sunshine and just staying active. And it was just a fabulous day. So planted these beautiful, beautiful flowers. And that's another thing. Like, I just feel like staying active can be really, really it can just be your life. You know, it doesn't have to be, it can be fun and beautiful is what I'm trying to say and just keeping your body moving. And I feel like the ultimate lunch hack is leftover. So I had some soup. I had some of these artichokes, which are really good from Costco and half a grapefruit. Hello, my friends. Welcome to this what I eat in a week. Protein was one of those macronutrients that I always thought that I was getting enough of until I really started looking at my days and seeing actually how much protein that I was eating. And when I really focused on getting enough protein, my progesterone, like the past couple cycles have been completely different. It is so important for our hormonal health and our blood health. We need protein. Protein in the Greek means of prime importance. So excited to spend the week with you. And I'm also gonna share my movement and just how I am moving my body. And that's the thing, not just exercise when it comes to all kinds of movement. So non-exercise non activity thermogenesis, which is NEAT, very NEAT. Uh, your NEAT, which is, again, non-exercise activity thermogenesis, which is basically like the calories or the energy. Calories is just a measuring unit of energy. It's just the energy that you are burning when you're not exercising. So, and the, and the, and the energy that you're using. So it's just so important to stay active and to nourish our body with adequate carbohydrate and put that glucose to good use. Today was a beautiful day. So went for a nice walk today, weight trained for an hour. Yesterday was kind of a rest day and just did some walking. I'm so happy with how our little backyard space is turning out. But anyway, that was a really fun way to stay active and get some sunshine today. Let's whip up some dinner because I kind of want to get to like tidying up around the rest of the house. Also, I'm so excited because the program that I'm under, I'm, un, I'm in a continuing education program studying under doctors, functional blood chemistry, and they just launched their new updated program. So I'm really excited to dive into that. And anyway, I'm just like, want to make dinner and I want to kind of dive into that. So, so let's make some okay, dinner. So this is my favorite thing in the whole world right now. Uh, asparagus is in season and I have been obsessed with my little mini R place oven because it cooks veggies so fast. And I just popped my asparagus in there on the roast setting. And I think I cooked them for only like 15 minutes and they were no like 10 minutes and they were done. It was so fast. And then I peeled up my sweet potatoes and I also then actually popped those in the little R place because the asparagus were done so fast that I ended up just throwing those in right afterwards. And I just seasoned them with some paprika, garlic powder, and some chili powder. That's a really good spice blend, I feel like, for honestly anything. And then popped those in, and then I did some grass-fed meat. I blended up some oats, added in some seasoning, garlic, onion, parsley, and egg, and this. This is the easiest way to make gluten-free meatballs. I put them in the oven, I think for maybe like 15 minutes at 400. 
so easy so delicious such a quick easy source of protein and absolutely amazing okay so i picked up this purple cabbage at the farm which is so beautiful and i just cooked that in some olive oil maple syrup added in some coconut aminos and some lemon and it turned out absolutely amazing i put on my favorite sweet chili sauce this sauce is the secret to just making any and every meal absolutely delicious. It turned out so good with all of our roasted veggies and cabbage. This dinner was phenomenal and it was so nice eating out in our little backyard. Not a garden, but I would dream to call it a garden because <laughs> of my little flowers, but anyway. So now I made the yummiest, this is the easiest, yummiest dessert for spring and summer. So good, freshly whipped whipped cream. I just literally put it in my KitchenAid, added a little bit of vanilla bean paste and some coconut sugar, whipped it up, done in like a couple minutes. And we sat outside and had our dessert and it was so good. It was the most simple and delicious dessert ever. And Meester loved it too. <laughs> Wasn't much of an actor, was I? I ain't much of anything. <laughs> that's the funniest thing ever. Okay. Yeah, that's a <laughs> <laughs> no need to wash it. <laughs> His eyes. Look at that tongue. <laughs> Okay, so we're probably sensing a theme here, but I'm starting out my day with some, I usually do like half raw milk, half water. And then today I had the strawberry flavor, which is so good. It always just depends on the mood that I'm in, whether I want salted caramel or strawberry. Oh, they're both so good. Like literally just plain on their own, so good. And then I added my colostrum. I could not get the lid off for the life of me this day. I gotta get this off. Oh my gosh, this is pathetic. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> and then I poured that up in my favorite, poured it up. I don't know what that means. I poured it into my favorite little cup. And then I sat outside and I got my morning sunlight and my daily bread. And it was just absolutely fabulous. Talk again. I ain't ever gonna talk again, no. No, oh. Good morning, everyone. This morning was fabulous and refreshing. Ugh, I'm just like, I love that we're making the backyard so beautiful. This is so special to me. I love it so much. I'm trying to recreate Mendocino in my own backyard. <laughs> That's what I'm really trying to do, which I really want to go back this summer. Like this is the first year we haven't booked a trip and I'm like, now I feel like it's kind of become an annual thing because we went the past two summers in a row the past two junes in a row anyway my soul is longing to go back there but okay i found this nicole addison she's a dietitian on tiktok she made this cottage cheese hard-boiled egg uh avocado toast 31 grams of protein it looks really good i was kind of feeling like switching it up this morning so we're gonna try it out I my gluten-free bread this is my favorite one i love that they use olive oil as their oil and we're gonna make hopefully a very delicious breakfast so mine only totaled out to 20 about 23 grams of protein. And I already had my scoop of protein and I'm gonna have my collagen in my morning drink as usual. So I'm gonna make a London Fog today. I was I was gonna make a chai, but stick with the London Fog. Looks really good though. Ooh. Protein toast. Wow, that's really good. Mmm, I really like that a lot. Probably gonna have some grapefruit on the side just to have some more fiber, but this is really good and some blueberries so that really is like my secret trick which is not even a trick at all but to get enough fiber i was having all my berries and then again making my london fog i literally accidentally gave up coffee for this it's so good i cannot even explain to you it is just if you have not made it 
<laughs> you need to just try it because you might become obsessed like I did. I added cinnamon this day and it was so good. Okay, I just made a little chai. Meester is very excited about it. <laughs> it's a little rooibos chai that is decaf. And then I put some Ceylon cinnamon and some of my superfood honey. Oh, where's my superfood honey? Let me go get it. Said superfood honey. This honey actually has bee pollen in it and the propolis. I didn't realize I was saying I was saying propolis, but it's actually propolis. But this actually has, yeah, the bee pollen and the royal jelly in here. So I sweetened my chai with that and then added a little bit of heavy cream and organic like whipping heavy cream and then some Ceylon cinnamon. And it is so delicious. It's like the perfect, you can drink this any time of day because there's no caffeine. So delicious. And it's just, it's so nutrient dense too because of that honey. And you know, I put bee pollen on everything. I sprinkle it on everything. I am in a season right now of pregnancy preparation just for future pregnancy. And I, I was thinking about this too because really no matter what our health goal is, energy, more energy, you're feeling tired all the time or sleep or like me, pregnancy preparation, you know, preparing your body for conception or even postpartum, um, just, you know, just feeling like you need a, a boost postpartum. This is what changed my life. So repeat after me, <laughs> repeat after me, learn this, learn this and health will be simplified in a way that doesn't feel overwhelming. So repeat after me, healthy cells, healthy cells make healthy tissues, healthy tissues make healthy organs, healthy organs make healthy organ systems, the endocrine system. And I, I've said this now in multiple videos, but this is what revolutionized everything. Okay, Meester is very, just try to get very comfortable right now. And healthy organ systems make a healthy organism. And that changed everything for me because then I'm not so overwhelmed and I'm not chasing an outcome. Instead of chasing an outcome, which I did for many years and I really, it was very discouraging because I didn't get anywhere. I didn't see any changes in my progesterone. I didn't, you know, I was still struggling every single month with painful periods and until I realized that my cells need nutrients they need nutrients and specifically specifically blood building nutrients that is the key we have to build healthy blood healthy red blood cells and what does that require it requires nutrients and specifically we'll take a little deep dive we're not making healthy red blood cells. We are not making the very life-giving thing that's going to deliver oxygen to our tissues. That is the life-giving, life-changing thing, is making sure that we're making red blood cells and getting every single cell in our body the oxygen that it needs to do whatever that cell needs to do, whether it's give you energy, make a baby, you know, sleep well, um, even mentally, be able to relax to fall asleep. Whatever it is, we have to be making healthy red blood cells. That's our goal. Our goal is to do that. So how do we do that? We start with the very basics of what it takes to even build heme. And guess what? The, the, the Well, there's a few things we need, but number one on that list is B vitamin six. We need vitamin B6 to make heme. Now we also need other nutrients. The one thing that you can do is focus on building healthy cells. And how do you do that? You consume food that contains high amounts of B6, of those B vitamins that we need to build it. That is why every single day I have bee pollen and I sprinkle it on my yogurt and I sprinkle it on my smoothies or I put the superfood honey in my tea because I am getting those nutrients that my body requires to make a healthy cell. And it has quite literally changed my life. It's changed my energy. And actually my really good friend who's a pregnancy prep specialist, she recommends a teaspoon of bee pollen every single day to her clients across the board. And so I get really excited about this kind of stuff and I was reading about it. Let me pull it up. This is the National Library of Medicine. I was reading this. The ancient Egyptians portray pollen as a life-giving dust, and the Bible and ancient Egyptian texts are documented proof of its use in public health. It is considered a gold mine of nutrition due to its active components that have significant health and medicinal properties. So that is, first of all, that is absolutely fascinating to me. It is this ancient food. That's the thing. It's a food too. So it's bioavailable to body. A big mistake that I see very regularly is women are not making, they're not, there's not adequate blood building foods in the 
body. That is why there'll be the painful, heavy periods or even your period. Your period should be a bright, beautiful red color. Yes, if it's a dark brown color, that's a sign that your body needs blood building foods. And this is why I love the bee pollen because it contains bioavailable B vitamins. We just finished reading this. Bee pollen contains bioactive compounds, including proteins. And the whole thing of this video even is high protein meals. Why do we need protein? It, again, in Greek, it means of prime importance. And this, I actually believe it's, I was reading, it's about 20 to 35% protein. That is how rich in protein it is. And that's the thing. It's, it's small, but it's so nutritionally dense that it packs such a big punch that you don't need a lot of it because it's so nutritionally dense. So you only need a teaspoon. And I'm like, if something can be easy, I don't have to think about it. Like I sprinkle it on my food. I put it, it's so easy and it's so nutrient dense. It's, it's literally nature's multivitamin. That is quite literally what it is. As much as I love and I'm grateful to have supplements that we can add into our diets, nothing beats food nothing beats nature, nothing beats God's design, nothing beats it, nothing is more bioavailable, nothing is more nourishing to the body, nothing is more supportive to the cells, to the tissues, to the organs, to the organ system. Literally, bee pollen is life-giving dust. Even get me started on what I was reading about propolis, I take this every single day. The studies that I read about endometriosis and conception blew my mind so much that I was like, I'm taking this every single day. I've struggled for so long and this is literally why I talk about it. This is why I get so excited about blood and nutrients and everything because I just care about you. I feel a difference in my body when I take this. I have so much energy. I used to have no energy. I used to be so exhausted all the time. I could barely make it through the day and I have energy now. So that's the thing. Give your body the B vitamins that it needs to make healthy, healthy cells. And my favorite way to do that is the bee pollen. So and they're so sweet. You guys are literally taking advantage of this so much that they gave me another code, which is incredible. You can go to beekeepersnaturals.com slash Cambria, and you are going to get 20% off of your entire order. So stock up your car, grab your propolis, grab your bee pollen. I never, ever, ever live without this. I already have my next one ready to open that's brand new. Link will be in the description box, and I love Beekeepers Naturals so much. Everything that they do is just sustainable. I couldn't love them more. I couldn't love them as a company more. Okay, my camera died when I was literally getting to the most exciting discovery that I had in the middle of telling you that it has the two most important, in my opinion, macro and micronutrient, protein and B vitamins. And you have both of them in one thing. This makes me love the bee pollen even more. Anyway, you can actually get them. You can get them at Whole Foods. You can find them in so many stores though. Nutrition chat today. We need to like start naming these because I love talking about this kind of stuff if you can't tell. So anyway, beekeepersnaturals.com slash Cambria. That's B-E-E-K-E-E-P-E-R-S-N-A-T-U-R-A-L-S.com slash Cambria. And you're gonna get 20% off of your entire order. So link is in the description box. Literally do not go a day without my bee pollen. And let me know, sometimes I just get on a roll and you always say in the comments like, I love when you talk about that, I love it. Please keep talking about it. Don't don't stop. Don't think that we don't want to hear. So, I'm going to I'm just going to keep on chatting away about all the nutrition things because I think it's fascinating and I think it's amazing and I just love how God created our bodies and I love when you find a food, I don't really think there's any food in the on the planet like bee pollen. So that's all folks, that's all I got today. Had a nice mid afternoon shower. I was on, I've just been doing computer work all day long and just, yeah, I've literally been on my computer all day. Time to make lunch. I'm gonna whip up something super quick and I'm actually really excited for this. I'm using the leftover chicken that I cooked actually in the soup that I made the other day. That's what I usually do with it because I, I will cook up all the chicken and then it just cooks the chicken and you can just take it out. It doesn't really take on the flavor of anything. And so and then you can use it in other lunches. So I have the shredded chicken. So I'm going to make a little barbecue chicken wrap. This is my favorite barbecue sauce. It's the date lady organic barbecue sauce. I, we also love the sweet chili sauce, which is what we used on the meatballs the other day. It's super high in potassium. The ingredients are absolutely amazing. It's literally made from dates and just like tomato paste, which is also really high in potassium. Anyway, it's just great. It's fabulous. And then I'm going to use a siete wrap and I'm going to chop up a little bit of a red onion and some organic cheddar cheese and then do some cilantro and whip it up. I'm going to toast it up in like a pan and I'm going to probably eat it with a side of fruits. 
Okay, so throwing this lunch together, it was accidentally one of the best things that I've ever made. It was so flavorful and good. It reminded me of my days when I loved California Pizza Kitchen's barbecue chicken pizza. They had a gluten-free version that I'd get at the store. Oh my gosh, this was so good. So just the shredded chicken, and then that's the thing, the date lady sauce. She also makes a barbecue sauce. It is so good, and it's made out of dates. It is phenomenal. So I just added in my onions and cilantro and the organic cheddar cheese in my Siete wrap yet again and ate that with a grapefruit. I'm telling you, I don't know what my grapefruit thing is right now, but it was so good. I did not know how good this was going to be. This is one of the yummiest things I've ever eaten. I've never made this before. Uh, I'm fusing two recipes together. So we have our original pho recipe that we've made a bunch of times okay. on um, uh, the online one that we like. And then uh, the pamphlet's right there for the this art place. So this okay. recipe has a couple, It's it has a lot of things that this one doesn't have. And then um, I basically fuse it together. So I put green onions in there, as you can see, um, uh, two stalks of green onions. Mm -hmm. And I kind of did it to liking. After you make pho a few times, you kind of know what you like. So I did uh, put, uh, clove of garlic, a big chunk of garlic. It says one garlic in that, that recipe. Mm -hmm. um, the and then uh, I put salt, I put the brown, that sugar, I put um, ginger in there, and I, uh, I seared them, I seared the onion uh, for flavor. And right here I have all the spices right now on a, on a hot skillet. Oh, right now? Yeah, right now, so it's almost done. Okay. So basically this is cooking up on here. It's getting nice and hot. You want, it gets, everything's good to go. Now I need to fill it up with water. But on the top, Perfect. Just Ooh, like that, that smells you really smell good. That? Yeah. Looks great, honey. Yeah. So that's what we're having for dinner tomorrow night. And that's oxtail. We have a, a oxtail from the farm, which mm -hmm. it's incredible. And a, about two and a half pounds of bone. Perfect. So we're using the fish sauce right here. A tablespoon. It says to add more. You can always add more once it's done to your okay. own dish, to your liking. Some people like it. Some people don't like it as much. Yeah. So we love this so yeah. much. So it's amazing. Pressure cook, high, and then two hours. And that's it. Turn it on and you're done. When we made this a bunch of times. We didn't know that you're supposed to scrape off all the fat. So we like literally once it's done, we'll literally start serving it, eat it. <laughs> but once you realize how much fat comes yeah. off those bones, and it's literally like this thick of layer. Once you uh, refrigerate it, you want to scrape that stuff off. Because yeah. if you don't do that, you're literally going to eat like a pound of fat like yeah. it's, it's pretty it's pretty insane i've done that a few times i survived but i'm just saying like <laughs> yeah you really want to it's make it and then it cools down and then eventually you want to have it in the refrigerated then you want to scrape off the fat layer yeah but the cool thing about this it makes making pho way easier yeah that's why oh. we scrape our <laughs> bone broth and pho. that homemade dinner well we kind of tag teamed it a little bit I made the roasted veggies in our little, we love this thing. Little wonder oven, it's amazing. It roasted up our veggies. And some shrimp tonight for dinner. Mm. We got our wild shrimp, veggies. All done. Mm. That frozen Honey, shrimp comes in handy. What? You made those really well. It's that, um, mm. I use a line from the farm, that really calm, that mm. really um, smooth one. That's incredible. Mm -hmm. What a simple dinner, that's so good. Okay, this salted caramel protein just really has my heart. It's so good. Like, you know it's a good protein when you can just have it with water. Usually I do half and half. Like, I'll do milk and water. And then I also had some homemade bone broth, which is great. So good for gut health and very rich in protein and glycine. And then I had a couple eggs on some gluten-free toast. And we were running low on groceries this day. I whipped up some celery juice later on, which, again, it really is so rich in potassium, which is actually really important if you're eating a lot of protein and getting adequate protein you really want to make sure that you are not skipping out on your potassium and speaking of potassium and that's just for like our blood acidity reasons so just for the body for overall health but anyway i made this little banana split delicious <laughs> like yogurt bowl and it was so good with frozen cherries and some of the bee pollen and then i used this like chocolate cashew butter on it with some honey. It was so good. I caught up with my friend while I ate my little bowl and it was 
like amazing. You have to make this. The frozen cherries made it taste so good. And then we had pho from the night before. We call it the pow pow sauce. So yellow bird blue agave has the best ingredients ever. It's really windy. Super windy outside, yeah. I'm scared. It's Let's gonna like shoot out. Mmm. Amen. Amen. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for getting the clot out of my way. Or not. Oh, I'm sweating my Oh my no, did I ruin it? No, did I ruin my- I'd be so mad if I ruined it. You see how much that came out? Yeah. Yeah, we put dandelion greens. Really good for the liver. That is outstanding. Good job, honey. So like our second dinner was the purple potato with the leftover chicken and some asparagus. And then the next morning I had my usual, this would be my usual, you know, like if I, you know, like you go to like a diner and they say you want the usual, that's me. That's me in the morning with my salted caramel protein. Okay. I could only dream of something like that. I, w I want somebody to say, do you want your usual? You know, can I get you the usual? Okay, anyway, <laughs> so now I'm making my London Fog. I had some eggs, some oranges. I topped it with some bee pollen that morning, my little protein, and then I made my favorite thing in the whole world, my morning London Fog. It's so warm, it's so cozy, and I literally look forward to drinking it every single day. And then I had some leftover pho. Again, leftovers are so easy for lunch. I feel like this really is like the best lunch hack because it's just, you don't have to cook anything really. You kind of just reheat and you're ready to go. But I put some dandelion greens in there, which are really high in vitamin K and really good for your liver. And I love these noodles from Thrive Market. They're so good. They are rice noodles and it's just full of protein, carbohydrate, and fat. So now I actually began prepping dinner and this dinner was so good. You have to make this, it was amazing. I took some ghee and I seared my short ribs in my pressure cooker on the sear option and then chopped up an onion and seared the, that up. And then I added in, I added in my chopped up celery and carrot, threw in some bay leaves, thyme, a little bit of fish sauce. I know, I just kind of felt like putting it in there. And then usually I would put balsamic vinegar, but I only had like this apple balsamic vinegar so I added in that with some coconut aminos and a splash of gluten-free Worcestershire sauce that's always so hard to say and then a little bit of maple syrup put everything back in there and and added in some parsnips on the top for 45 minutes and then let it mine just naturally does the natural pressure release so I don't I didn't release it myself when it was done I added in some arrowroot powder to thicken it up brought that to a boil and poured it over the top it was phenomenal Huh? Wow, this looks fantastic. Pressure cooker short ribs is a oh, hit. Yeah. That's a pressure cooker dinner. We got a, this was already made. This was a leftover from the other day. We just reheated it up, threw on the bowl, put some asparagus in the oven, Good job, babe. And then we got our meat done in just a, literally 45 minutes. Yeah. Yay. I just tried a little bit of is the fat good? that you left behind. It was insane. Ooh, let's try it. Yep. Amen. Oh my gosh. How good is that short rib though? Mm. The sauce, I need a fork. I can't believe that was cooked in less than an hour. Yeah. That's insane. That thing is amazing. Mm. The sauce that I made wow. is outstanding. Yeah. And I just threw it in. I just, I didn't use a recipe. I just literally threw it into the pot. I love short ribs. I love short ribs too. Everyone loves when you use the Barney reference. Oh yeah, Barney. Yeah. Let me listen to that Barney. Nope. I didn't even know that there's such a thing as a purple potato. Okay, and now again, I'm making that delicious dessert using up the rest of my leftover heavy whipping cream with some coconut sugar and then the vanilla bean paste and serving that up with the fruit. It is so good. Seriously, if you're looking for like just a quick, easy, light, refreshing, but definitely dessert, like it's so sweet and yummy. It's so good. I feel like we're seriously gonna be eating this all spring and summer. It's so good and it's so cute. We love it. No, I wish we could sit outside like we did earlier this week, but it was raining today, so it's really wet out there. Mmm. There's no more whipped cream, honey. You wanna bet? That's why we have a squeegee. I squeegee all of it out. Watch. Are you sure there's none? I mean, with a the squeegee, there there is. There's a ton. Really? <laughs> that was really good. Mm-hmm. Love you. Love you too. Mister, do you want to lick this? Oh, my God. Puppuccino? 
I love Saturdays so much. I have my propolis every single day, but I just happened to film it this day. So that goes in and I always do like a little extra spray because I love the way it tastes. I did some skur, skur. I'm, I feel like I'm saying that wrong. I don't know why I'm not saying it right. With some fruit and my bee pollen and honey. And then I had my probiotic, my prebiotic, and then I had tons of raspberries. Oh, this is actually like my second breakfast after my weight training. I forgot to film that, but I did an hour of weight training and then I came home and I enjoyed this really good grass fed sausage with some eggs and then more yogurt with berries and more bee pollen. <laughs> so now I'm whipping up like a true lunch. So this was so good. Oh my gosh, you have to make these carrots. They're like a showstopper. They're so good. I just mixed in some fresh lime juice with some honey. You could add a jalapeno as well and then I grated up an entire garlic clove with actually like a zester and then I just poured that over the carrots with some cojita cheese and then some cilantro and roasted the carrots for like maybe 20 minutes at 450 degrees in my little mini oven and then I just cooked up some salmon for the salmon I just seared it for like two minutes on a really high heat and finished it off in the oven for about five minutes at 450 degrees or 415 degrees, excuse me. And then before you knew it, it was dinner time. So this is like the most random dinner ever. I just had to use up this butternut squash. So I took that with some ghee and I roasted it up for like 20 minutes at 415 degrees. And then I used up the rest of our grass fed ground beef with some coconut aminos and then some cumin. And I didn't really love the flavors were really good. I just realized I'm not really a fan of cumin, but it was almost like a butternut squash taco bowl and it was really good. So then I made up a little, I wanted an extra element. I didn't show my hydration drink all week. I don't know why I didn't do that, but I, I wanted another grapefruit element. So I made that and then I topped everything with the rest of the cojita cheese and then some uh, cilantro. And it was so good. How many days have I worn this? I don't know. Uh, maybe, maybe. Tell me how it is. First. I don't know if I'm a fan of cumin. I'm not, I'm just not like the biggest fan of the flavor of cumin. And I like pretty much everything. Isn't cumin what we have in our um... black seed oil? We're going to the gym. I'm getting my 10,000 steps. I finally put back on my little tracker. And I was like, okay, we got to get this up. So anything under 5,000 is not according to me but it's considered sedentary. It's hard to get enough steps. Let's go. There it is. 10,000 steps. I have some goodies for you for the giveaway. Let me show you all the goodies in this giveaway. I'm just gonna do it this way because I feel like it's kind of exciting, you know? Okay, let's start out with the first thing. You are going to get the one, the only, the Rishi Earl Grey, the greatest Earl Grey of all time, best tea in the whole world. I am obsessed with it. I'm in love with it. It's so good. And then of course I had to get you more tea. I have been, I fell off my little mineral tea game this week. I don't know what happened, but it is so full of vitamins and minerals. And of course I had to get you the complete duo, the nettle and the raspberry leaf, because this is so high in calcium and magnesium and just so many minerals that just make you feel good. They help you have energy, sleep, everything like that. Even building your nutrient stores, it's just so good. And then what else? Oh, I forgot, I'm so excited. Okay, I got you the Beekeepers Naturals Superfood Honey. I found a little miniature version at Whole Foods and I thought this is so cute. I can pop this in the mail to you and it's just absolutely, oh, uh, it's adorable, it's so good, filled with all of those amazing B vitamins that's going to nourish your cells help you build blood, bring oxygen to your tissues. And when you bring oxygen to your tissues, and I love how it has the propolis in there as well. So it's so good for your immune system. And it's just incredibly nutrient dense. I am so excited. It's like the nature's multivitamin, but in a honey version. So super cute. I'm really excited that I got you that. And then I think that's all. Yeah, that was it from Whole Foods. This was actually in my 700,000 giveaway. And I ended up getting the winner actually a different chopper just because of shipping reasons anyway. So she got a really nice, fancy, beautiful chopper. So I'm actually including this one in this giveaway. I love my chopper so much. I didn't use my chopper this week, but you know how much I love my chopper. It's amazing. It just saves you so much time in the kitchen. So I'm including that. And then I also, okay, my friend Ashley got this bag for me for my birthday and I took it on my birthday trip and it was so convenient. Just the size of this for toiletries, your hairbrush, like 
I just have never had a bag. I know it's just a bag, but the size of the bag is just really, usually I have, I don't know, a bag that's a little bit more, it's just a little bit smaller. Just like, this is a very long bag. And so, and it's so beautiful. I just cannot get enough of this pattern. It's just very practical and so beautiful. I love the tassel. I had to pick you up that adorable bag. That's definitely like you know how much I love all of this, but this is like one of my favorite parts of the giveaway. And then I also got you this beautiful, it's a notebook. And honestly, I should have grabbed one for myself too, because I'm on the last page of my notebook and I use it as my prayer journal. And this is very similar to the, I, I'm very particular with my notebooks and I like having the ones that are spiral bound and they can open and kind of flip open like that all the way. So it's just, it's just how I like my notebook. So I got you this one. I thought it was really, really beautiful. I actually might go back and grab one for myself because I literally am on like the last two pages and the current fringe ones, like I just haven't really loved any of the patterns. So pretty for spring. I love it. And I love that it has like a texture to it. So I had to get you that as well. And then and by the way, for some reason, this has like a perfume smell. I actually ended up washing mine, but I just want to let you know when you win your bag, I did not spray it with perfume. It's just like a really strong smell. So I ended up washing mine to get that fragrance out. But anyway, just a little heads up. And then last but not least, look at these gorgeous, and I wish, I can't wait for you to feel them. They are so thick and just high quality tea towels. Oh, I love them so much. I love that purple color and I just think this would look so beautiful hanging up. That is my little mini spring giveaway for you. Oh, and by the way, I just finished doing my 10,000 steps. I've my handy dandy pedometer again. This is actually amazing. Like it really, there's something about objectively seeing things that's really changed my life, whether it's blood chemistry, anything that is objective and I'm able to see it, it's just so much more motivating for me. Honestly, I love this thing so much. So got my 10,000 steps in, I'm feeling good about that. So that was really nice after dinner. Anyway, all you have to do to enter is tell me one of your goals. I was like really thinking about this question. And I think that there's something about spring for me that's almost sort of reminiscent of January where it's just, it feels like new. It feels like a new fresh start. Spring is here. And I just want to know what one of your current goals is. I feel like my goal right now is to, is to get back into like a really good morning routine and specifically having my daily bread, my quiet time. I've just been in um, just not a very, like, I, I'm just really missing it. I'm just really missing having like an anchoring quiet time. So I don't know why, but I just kind of got out of it there for a little bit. And I just really want to get back to it because I love it. I love it so much. It's like my favorite part of the day. And I just, there's nothing better ever than sitting down with my Bible open and my warm tea and a book and just sitting there, it is my favorite thing in the whole world. There's just nothing better in life. So I really miss doing that. So that is my goal. That's my goal. And tell me what your goal is. I would love to know what your goals are. And I think it'd be fun to read through the comments anyway. So that is it for this video. I had so much fun hanging out with you this week. Don't forget, you can get 20% off of Beekeepers Naturals. So you can use my code Cambria or you can go to beekeepersnaturals.com slash Cambria and you're gonna get 20% off. It's truly the most nutrient dense food. I don't go a day without my propolis and without my bee pollen, it is how I am building my blood and nutrient stores and just nourishing every cell in my body, which then make healthy tissues, make healthy organs, make a healthy organism, make a healthy organism. I love you so much. I won't go on and on about that and I will see you in my next video. Bye.